So it looks like the transfer window has turned into a desperation mode. More importantly, a short term deal. Now, I'm pretty much sure what I've seen in the last two winter transfer windows, what Arsenal have conducted. Personal signings, I mean, sorry, permanent signings have not been the case, but it's only been about loan spells. So I'm pretty much sure that's exactly what they're looking at. But there's so many things that are, that are not going Arsenal's way. Let's not, let's just not talk about Susan. Oh, sorry, Dusan, Dusan Lahovic. Uh, Arthur, of course, we're going to talk about Arthur as well in this episode. Uh, once and once and for all, we're going to discuss about Arthur, and uh, let's just jump into it. So, um, so here's a report from Gary Jacob, uh, who is a sports writer for the Times. He says that Pierre Emerick Aubameyang has been offered to Sevilla and Barcelona. So that is one of the updates because according to Gerard Romero, Morata's deal to Barcelona has become very complicated. Now, we all came to know that Morata, you know, from Atletico might go to Barcelona and Atletico Madrid have, have to pay Barcelona a good chunk of money in terms of bringing in Antoine Griezmann from them. So that is the case. That is always a bigger question. So to solve that, Atletico Madrid thought, let's send Morata there. Now... For many reasons, Morata's deal to Barcelona is not happening. So, Aubameyang is now the alternative that Barcelona are looking at at the moment. So, Gerard Romero believes that's the case. Let's see if that's going to be happening or not. Uh, for more proper updates, we're going to talk about another new player. Uh, but first, let's talk about Kejan Catalan. He, he shares this image with the caption, be always positive, even when people say it will people say will be impossible because the one who controls everything is God. Of course, of course, he's got, he's got to stay positive and I think that's exactly what he's trying to be here. But moving on, as spoken in, uh, if you can see that uh, uh, terms already mentioned, his name is Cody Gakpo, he plays for PSV, he's a winger by the way. Uh, just like proper Martinelli kind of a player. But here's, here we go. According to Foot Mercato, Arsenal have added themselves to the list of clubs interested in 22-year-old PSV winger Cody Gakpo. Arsenal could jump at the opportunity estimated. His actually price is 30, 30, 30 million euros, which is 25 million pounds, in the coming days to compensate for Aubameyang's possible departure. Now you'd wonder, IG, why another winger? We're talking about a striker. Well, Hold down your horses, we're going to talk about that. And according to Foot Mercato, PSV's Cody Gakpo is a reported transfer target of Liverpool, Arsenal and Manchester City. Gakpo has scored 10 goals and assisted, sorry, uh, yeah, assisted 10, 10 assists, 10 goals in 25 games so far this season. You'd say, bro, he plays in any division. Nobody gives a damn about that that league. Why? What is wrong with you? I think there's everything wrong with you guys. He's, if you know about him, he's, he's actually a very exciting talent. But the bigger question is, should Arsenal think about um, a winger at the moment? That's that's a bigger question at the moment. So let's, before talking about everything, uh, Rick Efrink, who is a PSV watcher, PSV watcher and Eindhoven's. So this guy says that uh, colleagues from abroad are now also mentioning Arsenal as an option for Cody Gakpo, in which Liverpool, Bayern and Manchester City are also interested. A price of 29.9 million euros is linked to this. Not nearly enough to even come and have a cup of coffee at PSV. I don't even realize what is he trying to mean by that. But I'm pretty much sure Cody Gakpo is a very good talent. I believe he's a very good talent. Um, doing fantastic at uh, PSV but if you're talking about midfielders there's a, there's one more in PSV that we need to think about is Ibrahim Sangare anyways let's move on so canary leaks so they say they have a leak and uh, they say that Arsenal continue to push to sign one of their main targets before deadline day but they can reveal that contingency plans are being drawn with Edu's agents network, stating to probe the market for suitable alternatives that fit the criteria just in case things don't plan out. So the Canary Leaks can exclusively reveal that influential Iranian intermediaries have initiated contacts with Porthos striker Mehdi Taremi to, to gauge his interest in a move to Arsenal and a well-placed Canary has confirmed the player would welcome a switch to North London. The Canary Leaks can exclusively exclusively reveal that the Iranian intermediaries are working in the background to construct a short-term deal that could see Mehdi Taremi and Obamiyang move in the opposite directions. 
Kennedy's affirmed dialogues are in the preliminary stages. But Mehdi Taremi has a 60, 60 million euros release clause. But Porto could be willing to let him leave on loan should Obama Yang be included as part of the deal, with Arsenal paying big chunk of his wages. Taremi, who is 29 years of age, had 48 goals and assists. Total goal contributions last season on par with Messi and Mo Salah. So Mehdi Taremi is one of the players that could go the other way around. And uh, I mean, he scored a bicycle kick against Chelsea in the Champions League. That's that's one of the things that I would want to suggest to you guys. But Mehdi Taremi to Arsenal for a six-month loan. Let's see how that will work. And uh, let's see. Let me know if you guys know anything about it. If you know anything about it, let me know in the comments. Mehdi Taremi is one of the players Arsenal are looking at. So what's the situation at Juventus? So many players involved in departures. Rodrigo Bentancur to Aston Villa. There's a bigger problem that the negotiations appear very complicated. This is a report coming from Romeo Agresti. He also says that Arthur, the position of Juve has not been changed, which openly wants an 18-month loan. Kulusevski, keep an eye on, on his situation and on, on a possible end-of-market loan. That's a big possibility of um, uh, those Juventus players. So Romeo Agresti has said it. You'd better believe it, apparently. So let's see. According to Team Talk, now Arsenal are set to make an offer for Aston Villa star Douglas Luiz immediately. Well, now I, I think I think I think uh, from uh, player to player we've changed. From now Bruno Guimaraes. Now we are moving either towards Ruben Neves or Douglas Luiz for a loan spell. We're just looking at a loan spell, a short term fix. But Eleni's uh, stay in the AFCON has increased at the moment because, of course, uh, they beat Ivory Coast. Uh, Nicola Pepe was fantastic, but yes, they lost some penalties and they moved to the last eight, apparently Egypt. So congratulations to Mohamed Eleni. So Arsenal still short on that midfield uh, uh, midfield um, position. Five days to go. What are they going to pull off? Uh, nobody knows. Nobody knows what, what are they going to pull off. Are they going to pull off anything? Apparently, no. But hey, Arsenal are the mo are that's a club which is most active during the deadline day as well. So we'll see. We have hopes till the last day. Apparently, uh, I have heard that Man City have signed Julian Alvarez uh, and send send him back on loan as well. So let's see how how things will change. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Until then, cheers and let me know if you guys know anything about Mehdi Taremi. Cody Gakpo or even Douglas Lewis in the comments. I will see you in the next one. Any of these signings are quite attractive to you. Let me know what you guys think about it. I'll see you in the next one.